Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from my home base here in beautiful Boynton Beach, Florida, where we have warm temperatures right now in the month of December. And uh, everybody up north is freezing to death. Listen, today I want to talk about Social Security, and I want to talk about the Social Security survivor benefits. And this can be kind of confusing and uh, a little bit difficult to understand for some people. So what are survivor benefits? Well, if you're married, uh, in order to qualify for survivor benefits, you first have to be married at least nine months. And even if your spouse isn't collecting Social Security yet, if you've been married for at least nine months, and there's an exception to that, if you've been less, less than nine months and your spouse dies from an accident or you have a child between the two of you, either natural or adopted, uh, you could collect Social Security um, on your spouse. So let's take a scenario. Uh, you have a spouse. Uh, he is 65 and you're 35. <laughs> it happens, right? Uh, what, what's, the, what's the situation there? Well, you couldn't collect Social Security just simply because he died, because then the Social Security office would have to potentially pay uh, lots of people Social Security benefits for uh, 60 or 70 years and they're not going to do that. So they have a little bit of a rules on it. So the way it works is, let's take the scenario, you're married, uh, it's been nine months, your spouse dies, and he hasn't even collected his Social Security yet. You can collect uh, your Social Security when your age is 62 and up, or you can collect uh, the survivor benefits. And you can only get whichever is greater. So obviously, if your own personal Social Security was more than the survivor benefits of your spouse, then, you know, you would take your own. But you can't get both. OK. So uh, your spouse dies and um, you can collect Social Security on him. And he didn't even collect or she didn't even collect Social Security yet. This is scenario number one. They didn't even start getting their Social Security. Well, what happens? The Social Security office will then give you the benefit of the doubt that your spouse was going to wait until they were full retirement age of 67 years old, which is what it is today. Um, and you would get 71.5% only of your spouse's Social Security if you are at least 60 years old. You don't have to wait till you're 62. You can collect Social Security spousal benefits, survivor benefits, I should say, not spousal. That's a different one. That's if you're collecting on a, a, an ex-spouse. Survivor benefits can be collected as early as 60 years old. If you're disabled, you can collect it at 50. But uh, if you're wanting to collect uh, Social Security on your spouse, they never started drawing their Social Security. Social Security says, we're going to say and give you the benefit of the doubt that you are going to wait until your full retirement age of 67, and they will give you 71.5% of what your spouse's Social Security was going to be at full retirement age. Let's say it was two grand, okay? Let's say you get $500 less at 62, you wait till your uh, full retirement age, you get $500 more. So you got $1,500 and you got $2,000. He or she dies before even collecting. Social Security says, we're going to give you benefit of the doubt that they were going to wait till to get the extra $500. So, or the 30% or whatever, you know, that number is that they say you can get by waiting. But in order to get that, you got to wait too. You got to wait um, all the way until you're 67 to get 100% of that. Uh, you only get 71.5% if you start collecting at age 60. And all the way up, uh, it's 71.5%. I'm looking at a chart here. I'm using a cheat sheet. At 62, it goes to 75%. At 63, you get almost 80%. All the way up to 66 years old, and you get 90, almost 96%. And then once you're full retirement age, you would get the whole amount. But you do not get 100% of what your spouse's full retirement age Social Security was, even 
um, if they waited until they became that age to collect. You have to wait also to get that because if you, they call it a haircut, they take off if you want it early. Just like they're not going to give it to you if you're 35 or 40 and he or she that you married is, you know, 30 years older than you. They're not going to pay you, you know, 50 or 60 or 70 years Social Security. So they made a rule and they say that you can get it as early as age 60 and then you get a reduced amount because they want you to wait to get this bigger amount. All right. So let me back up. You're married. Your spouse dies. They never collect it. They give you the benefit of the doubt and say he was going to wait. She was going to wait till their full retirement age. So you're entitled to survivor benefits. If you wanted it 60, it's 71 and a half percent. If you want all of it, you got to wait till you're 67. Now let's take scenario number two. He or she you're married to dies and they did start their Social Security. They got it coming in and they started collecting it at full retirement age. They waited until they were 67 and they got the extra 500 bucks. All right. So he or she passes away and you want to start drawing survivor benefits. It's the exact same thing. You don't get all of that money that he or she waited to get until you wait to get. Otherwise, it's the haircut. It's 71.5% starting at age 60. But you don't have to wait till you're 62 like you would to draw your own. So remember, you can only get what a percentage of what they were getting depending on when you want to get it or your own not both all right now uh, what's the other scenario let me see you got the one where uh, they died before they were going to collect and as long as you were nine months married uh, you can collect it when you get to be 60 of what their full retirement age was that based on that amount but only a reduced amount if you start at 60. So he gets the full amount. They, get, they base it on that, but you get, you know, lower. <laughs> so now, oh yeah, here it is. I'm remembering. Let's say you married and your spouse collected at age 63 years old. Okay. And their full retirement check would have been two grand, but they take the 500 less thereabouts at 63 it's, uh, it's a little bit more than what it is at 62, but it's 63. And so they've etched in stone what they're getting. There is no, oh, we're going to assume that he or she was going to wait until they were full retirement age. We know what they got because they started drawing it. So do you get the reduced amount or the haircut amount off of that uh, check that he or she was getting at 63? No. In this case, there's something they call a widow's limit. They will give you 82.5% of what the full retirement age amount would be, let's say the two grand, or the full amount that he or she was already collecting. Okay? So in that case, if your spouse started collecting at 63 and then died at 66, when you're 60, you can collect 82.5% of the two grand, the full retirement amount, or 100% um, of what they were getting. But you would have to wait until you become uh, that age too. So then it turns into this, that if it's 82.5%, this widow's limit, uh, what that is, is if you wait any longer than 62 and a half years old, you're not going to get any more money. You're leaving money on the table because they're only going to, they're, they're doing this special rule where your husband started, I, I want to say husband every time, your husband started collecting at 80, at 63 and took a reduced amount because he was smart and started drawing early like you should. And then he passes away a few years later. You don't get 71 uh, and a half percent of that reduced amount. They'll give you 
82.5% of what his full retirement age would have been if he would have waited till he was fully retired. For, I mean, till 67. They'll give you 82.5% of that. Or 100% of what he was collecting, meaning you would only have to wait till like you're 62 uh, and then it wouldn't do you any good because at 62 and almost between 62 and 63, it goes between 80 and 83% of what the full retirement uh, age amount is. That's a percentage that we all get. It starts at 71.5% of what full retirement amount is all the way up to 100% at age 67. So it's like 29, not even 30% more you get by waiting until you're 67. So I hope that wasn't confusing, but uh, re to recap, there's three scenarios. One, your spouse dies before they even start drawing Social Security. They give you the benefit of the doubt that he was going to wait or she was going to wait until they were 67. And then if you collect it early, though, you get a reduced amount. You don't get the benefit of the doubt amount. You got to wait till you're that old to get it. Okay, you clear on that? You got to wait till you're 67 to get if you waited, if you start collecting at 60, which you're able to, you'll get 71.5%. Then the scenario is he he starts getting it and he, he collects it at full retirement age. He waited. She waited till 67. And they got the full amount, the extra 500 bucks, and they die. You don't get that. You gotta wait again. You same thing. You gotta wait till you're old. You gotta wait till you're 67. And then you get that amount. You do not get that if they die and you are younger. And um, unless you're already the same age and he died at 75 and you're 75 too, then, you know, you would get it. But otherwise, you got to wait. They take a haircut off of it. You don't get it. And then the other scenario is they, they take a reduced amount. They start collecting at 62 or 63 then you get, in that case, 82.5% uh, of, if they start getting it early, you don't take a haircut off that. You don't get 71% of 1,500, that low amount. You get 82.5% of his or hers full um, retirement age amount, the two grand. Okay, you with me? Or 100% of that, if you uh, uh, if you wait until 62 and a half years old. Otherwise, it doesn't do you any good to wait any longer. So you would want to collect. So if your spouse starts drawing early, like I did, and I died, my spouse would get 82 and a half percent of what I would have gotten if I would have waited till I was 67 at 60 years old. Or she can get my entire amount. 100% of it, at only 62. She doesn't have to wait till she's 67. So hope that makes it uh, simple to understand for you. I'm going to make another video uh, about what to do about health insurance when you start collecting early, like 62 years old, like you should. And um, unless you're making so much money and you love that job you got, that's the only one reason in the world not to collect Social Security and get your free check, your money, um, at 62, day one, day one. And I'll go over that all again of why you're not getting more money by waiting. You're losing money. All those years you don't collect Social Security to wait for $500 more, you'd have to live to be forever. You'd have to be 80 years old to ever surpass. And what do you? what kind of life do you have at 80? I mean, I know some people can run around the block at 80, but not many. So live your life now. Tomorrow may not come. Today's the day to crush it.